So a lot of people talk about the K line marked on the shank of a lot of cutters and any cutter made certainly here in the UK since ooh, 2009 I think, but a few, a few years ago now. Um, we'll have a K line marked on it. It's called K line or nicknamed K line because it looks like a K. It is actually, as you probably know, um, an indication line. And that is where to mount the, um, the collet. Um, more specifically, the collet has got to go up to that line. So don't pinch it on the end because there won't be enough grip. Equally, and this is what a lot of people I've come across aren't necessarily aware of, don't be tempted to ram that cutter right into the nut. Two reasons. First of all, you will damage the edge of the cutter, or the, the base of the cutter, um, on the nut. Certainly a lot more likely to ding the cutting edge with the spanner, and you don't want to be doing that. But more importantly, where the, the cutter is machined from the, the shank, it wants to, or it tends to round out. If you try and grip that portion with the collet, you'll round over the tip of the collet and then you won't get as good a grip. So you'll damage it equally by putting it in too far. Um, the other thing, some spindles where the hollow is, you can bottom out the base of the shank on the spindle motor. Um, you don't want to be doing that either because you'll get vibrations transferred through from the motor, through the spindle, onto the shank, down into the cutter and then onto the work. So uh, not too far in, not too far out. Stick to the K-line and you'll be fine. You can go a little bit further in, but don't go all the way to the bottom. Save yourself some money and look after your gear. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stick around for more tips and tricks.